Hi everybody, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can send the voice memos from your iPhone to a computer or to somebody else via a message. Um, I have a lot of clients who are podcasters and some of them on a low budget record their podcasts straight into an iPhone um, or a smart device. And uh, I was just looking up some uh, high search volume phrases uh, using TubeBuddy and I saw that lots of people want to know how to send a voice memo on iPhone 11. So this is actually isn't an iPhone 11, but it is running the same operating system as uh, iPhone 11, which is the iOS 13. So basically, um, you know, it's the, the voice recording on the iPhone is really clear. And if you've recorded a voice memo, I'm just going to open the voice memo app here. I hope you can see my iPhone screen here. Let me try and make that a bit better. There we go. Um, and let me get rid of that. So basically record your voice memo. Um, I'll do a test one here. So I can make a new recording by just hitting the record button there. This is a test voice memo. And then I usually name it by just clicking on the name. And then there we go. To send this to somebody via a message, just click on these three little buttons right here. And then this will give you these options here. You can copy, share, edit, duplicate, save to files. So share is the quickest and easiest way. And you can, depending on what apps you have installed on your iPhone, you can uh, message that to somebody. It will be in the AAC format, which is the Apple uh, audio codec. That's kind of like an MP3, it's, so it's a nice small file, and it will have .m4a at the end of the file. Uh, you can use Gmail, or depending on what apps uh, are on your phone will depend on what pops up here. Um, you can save that to your Dropbox. So what I like to do is, um, if I want to get this, um, if I want to send it to someone via email, but I want to keep a copy of the file myself, I just use AirDrop, and then any computers nearby on the same wireless network should appear there. And then I'll just accept that. And that will go into my downloads folder. So let's have a look at the downloads folder here and grab this. So there's my test voice memo right there. I've just sent that to my desktop computer. And from there, uh, I can do all sorts of great things. Like uh, if I open this with my Pro Audio Converter, which is just a little paid app that I have, um, I can convert that to an MP3. Uh, I can pop that in my iTunes library, my music library. Um, and if you watched my other video on how to convert files to MP3, using uh, the iTunes or which is just called music. Now you will know that you can just click on that and go file and convert to MP3. If I have the right settings here, I won't go through this now, but I will leave a link to that other video, which shows you how you can just use iTunes basically to convert these files to an MP3 because some people like to, you know, some people request an MP3. If someone is a test voice memo. There we go. I just interrupted myself. It started playing. Um, so I've just converted that to an MP3. And there we go. So if I want to grab that MP3, um, I can then pop that in an email. Um, I can pop it on a USB stick or I can send it to someone via Dropbox. So uh, one other thing I want to show you really quickly on the iPhone is another way we can do it. So the voice memos here, if I click on these three dots again, we can simply save to files. So the files um, app on the iPhone, it, I think came in, in in some recent operating systems. And it basically, it's like uh, all these files on folders on your desktop, places where you store your files, but it's the same thing for an iPhone really. Uh, so I've got uh, a folder here called music on my iPhone. So you can see here that you've got an iCloud drive. You can save it to your iCloud if you want, 
or your Google Drive if you have that connected or your Dropbox. But I like to save it on my iPhone and then I'm going to um, save it to music there. Save. Now, if I exit the voice memos app and I locate my files app right there on my I've got it on my home screen there. Um, you'll see that I've got one there called test voice recording from yesterday. Test voice memo is the one that I did just now. So what I can do if I like on my files app, if I go all the way back, I can just select on my iPhone. I can put my finger down on an empty space and let me find an empty space there and select new folder and I can go voice memos right here. And then I can go find that test voice memo and click and hold on it. And I will say move and it's saying, where do I want to move it to? So I want to move it to that new folder that I just created called voice memos. Now in my files app, I have a nice folder called voice memos. So if I was to uh, record another voice memo, I'm going to go back in here. So let's record another one. This is the second test voice memo. I can now click on the name of that. Oops, wrong one up the top there. I'm going to call it test voice memo two. And then I'm going to click on these three little buttons and say, save that to files. And I can pop that in my voice memos. So instead of having all of your voice memos just sitting there in the voice memos app, you can start to just export the ones you want into this files uh, app here. And then under voice memos, you've got all of those uh, voice memos there. Now, for some reason, that new recording, I didn't name properly, but it doesn't matter. And what we can do from here is click on a file and play it, or we can click and hold and we can do uh, the same thing as we did in the, from the voice memo, we can go share. And from there, we can then message it to someone. We can email it. We can airdrop it. So I'll just do the same again and I'll accept that. And now I've got it on my Mac. So that's a really simple way of grabbing your voice memos and getting the ones that you want organized in folders, sending them, storing them somewhere else. So you have two backups. I hope you've enjoyed this content. Hope you found it useful. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, pop that notifications bell on for my new content. And I'll see you in the next video.